they've got a few forward here. And it was Alexander McQueen who was a long way forward and it had to be turned behind by Little. So the first chance from a set piece falls to the Bees. And it's Petrasso who will take this. Floated in nicely and Daly was forward and won his header as well. But dealt with at the back by Hartlepool. Three clean sheets in 20 league games this season for the former England under-21 international. But not many of the goals have been down to him. Sterry and Ferguson over this. Real opportunity in the early stages, this, to Tess Loach. Sterry takes it, but got right underneath it. Ball into the box. Ferguson with the attempted cross, which is deflected behind, off Judd for a corner. Sterry, he was across to take this. Player who spent 15 years with Newcastle, made a Premier League appearance for them as well. There's his ball in, the keeper Loach stays put. And behind it goes off Daly for another corner. That was a teasing ball in there from Sterry, just outside the six yard box. Loach was in a position not to come and get it. He was saying daily after the latest defeat at Kings Lynn that it can only be the players that take the blame for the situation they're in right now at Barnet. He's been pretty vocal on social media as well, Daly. Big leadership figure in this Barnet squad. And they defend this, and it's headed wide by Johnson. Which will clear for the beast. Done. Richard Everton plays it forward. Petrasso. Turn behind for the corner kick by Ryan Johnson. Well, if you're looking for a bit of creativity and you're looking for that little spark in the final third, then Mike Petrasso could certainly be that player for Tim Flowers' side in this game. Which Mike Petrasso will take. Just over 18 gone at the Vic. Daly's forward again. And the flag does eventually go up. Johnson. It's intercepted by Adeloy, who looks to Hooper here. And the goal kick is given. That was a good play there from Barnett, because the way they drop off deep, and allowing the centre-halves of Hartlepool to try and play out from the back. That time, Johnson's ball got intercepted. So when you play on the counter, you need players forward, unfortunately, there for JJ Hooper, just the unfortunate deflection back onto him, took it out for a goal kick, but that was good shape there from Tim Flowers' side. In comes the corner. Daly again was there for the Bees, as he so often has been in this first 24 minutes at the back. White, Sterry, who's seeing a lot of the ball down this right-hand side. Combining nicely here with Cass, and Cass looks for Armstrong, and a good save by Loach. Read what was coming there, Loach. Well, for a player of his calibre at this level and the form that he's been in, that's a really good chance. Shelton, Cass, Armstrong, playing nice football here, Hartlepool. Cass with the cross, Armstrong with the header, watch wide by Loach. It was taking a little while there for Armstrong to get into the game in terms of chances creating and getting a shot on target. But it's a decent save from Scott Loach, but he makes it look slightly easier than maybe what it was because his movement to get across the line and be wary of that near post area. It's a great run from Armstrong because he just pulls on Richards Everton quite easily. The crossing was really hit with real quality. 
Just maybe the angle was working against the front man slightly, but finally pulling Scott Loach into a save. Of course, he's played at this level before with Gateshead the season before last. His record, if you look at, it, at Hartlepool and Gateshead, is outstanding, but there could be a chance here for Barnett, and it was a good stop. Stopped that by Killip as JJ Hooper ran through on goal, and he knows that was a chance. Oh, what's the chip on? Just wondering if Killip was slightly off his line when this ball was played through. They switch off slightly, and he is onside. Picks in a really good position inside Cass. Just seeing where Killip is in his 18-yard box had and maybe the chip was on. Almost half an hour gone here. <laughs> Killip stays on his line. And it was controlled on the edge of the box there by White. Petrasso hit it first time. Sterry. Ferguson in a race to try and get to this as Judd slides it. The points. Little. Cass, who's been very impressive in the first half an hour. Particularly getting forward. Combination, the understanding with Sterry is good, and now it's Shelton, and Armstrong's there! And from close range, Luke Armstrong puts Hartlepool in front. What a time he's having with Hartlepool. And he couldn't miss there, could he? His ninth goal in the National League this season in 13 games. Or oh, food and drink for Luke Armstrong. Frustration for Tim Flowers, but it's a well-worked goal because Cass takes the initiative to drive forward with the ball. Great little movement off the ball as well. And you just see Armstrong in the middle of your screen. Just making a run across that near post area twice now. Had the opportunity before when he got behind Richards Everton. This time again, he gets in the right place at the right time. He is a goal poacher, arguably one of the best in this league. And he's not going to miss from that distance, but you have to be in the right place at the right time. They've had to be patient for their goal, Hartley Paul. Looking for Armstrong again. He's been forced further wide than he would have liked. Shelton's up in support, though. Sterry's there as well. Shelton looking to hit the byline. Who can he pull it back for? Well, over the bar it went from Oates, but that's a glorious chance to make it too. Well, this is Barnett's biggest problem now, Adam. When they concede that first goal, they capitulate and their heads go and everything goes. The game against Dover, they conceded two in two minutes. Against Notts County, they conceded three in nine minutes. Five second half goals against Chesterfield. So once that goal is conceded, they lose every bit of confidence they had in that first period of the game so far. And I think Oates will be thinking a lot better. I should be finishing this chance a little bit more, but too easy down that right-hand side. And when it got cut back to him, realised that's a big chance. It is Ferguson to take it. Not too far over the bar. Recall his last goal actually was a lovely free kick against Solihull, and he wasn't too far off there. Well, he's been excellent this season. He really, really has in terms of the dynamic that... He makes those runs down the left-hand side, the assist that he provides, the balls he put into certain areas. Being one of the outstanding silence for Dave Challoner. Sterry, now Cass again. Sterry, looking for Armstrong, found him! Well, it's just the sort of service that he thrives off and he wasn't far away again. Well, I said before his first goal, in, in terms of his involvement outside the 18-yard box, sometimes he's non-existent. But this is where he comes alive. It's a great run for him because he just delays the run very slightly to almost make daily stand still. And then he gets that pace of running across him. But here come Hartlepool again as we approach the final five of this first half. That's placed beautifully by Hollerhat. Loach saves, but Shelton's there and Armstrong's in support. Bit of last ditch defending from the Beast. Oh, well, before the shot was taken, you have Ferguson on the left hand side of him that maybe, maybe. Could have been the better option. He's not quite on your screen yet. You can see Ferguson at the bottom there. Just kept in by Judge. Forward it went from McQueen. It didn't quite run there for JJ Hooper, but there was a bit of a miscommunication there. And in the final minute of added time, Barnett are going to have a chance from a corner. Ball here to Sterry. 
Sterry's ball in was a good one, inviting, and over the bar it went. Well, Hollihan with the shot. Well, the cross, another cross from the right was well, brilliant, really, and deserved more. Oh, well, and he's really given Richard Taylor a very, very hard evening so far, Sterry. Just look at that little change of pace and just that little change of direction to get a teasing cross in again. Be disappointed, Wendy Hollihan, not finishing that one. Ferguson will take. And Shelton tried to hit that and didn't. Johnson got the head to it, and the good reaction from Loach. McQueen now for the bees, looking to release Petrasso. It's Sterry who's come across and got there first in the foot race. A save from Loach. I don't think he got the parry on it as well as I thought he would have done. Almost just went back into an area there where Hartlepool could have certainly capitalised on. Uh, Cass brings this a long way and he's got Sterry up in support. There's his cross into a great area once more. Well, Sterry now has put in four or five such inviting crosses in either half. Yeah. Judd. Oh, great cross and oh, Hooper. Looking to get on the end of that. A rare opportunity for the Bees. Well, it was, and he just needed to be a little bit more on the front foot there, because he gets to run across Cass quite nicely. Teasing ball in there from Judd. He just doesn't quite get the movement just enough to get on the end of it. The first real opportunity we've seen from Barnett in this second half. Done. Richard Taylor. Nicely done that, and the advantage played. Oh, and he slipped through a nice ball for Hooper here as well. He's got Petrasso up in support. Petrasso's cross. And the clearance by Johnson came off the back of Sterry and then a wild shot really by Richard Taylor. But an illustration there of what a dangerous scoreline this is for Hartlepool, despite the fact they're dominating in terms of possession. Shelton. That's really well played by Mason Clark to get possession back for the Bees. He's got a lot of pace as well. There's Mason Clark. Baker Richardson. Well, he had two in the box there. Nice approach play, though, by Barnett. Oh, really, really well played there from Mason Clark. Talking about his work rate without the ball, that's an exemplary example. Probably what's more expected of him. Track back really, really well. Does the hard work, brings the ball forward nicely. And plays the ball out to Baker Richardson that just woefully hits over the crossbar. No real confidence in the shot. Very nice build-up play, this Armstrong waits in the middle. The pull-back instead was for Molyneux, the substitute, who couldn't hit that on target. Well, I've lost count now, the amount of times that Jamie Sterry has made the run in beyond Richard Taylor, down that right-hand side. He has given him a torrid evening's worth of work, a little give-and-go. Just that little cut back there to Molyneux. Just a bit more in the shot from me. Dominated the second half, Hartlepool will be disappointed they've not capitalised on just having the one goal so far. Luke Molyneux, he's got Armstrong waiting, and he's found him! And he couldn't score that time, might do on the turn. What an opportunity to seal the deal, and he couldn't take it. I well, certainly need to see this one again, it almost seems harder to miss than actually score. Molyneux does absolutely brilliantly. Well, even by his standards, Adam, that is a very, very poor miss. Whether or not a touch from Loach or just Loach getting in the way, just bamboozled him a little bit in terms of the pace that the ball came onto him. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I knew the reaction that was going to come.